Hi, we're just briefly going to talk about the heart here a bit and the chambers and some of the major vessels that are involved with it. Now one thing you need to know when you look at a picture in a book like this, um, it gets a little bit confusing because on my left, you'll notice is the right atrium, the right ventricle. What you have to remember is that you're looking at a person, okay, just like that person is facing you. And when that person is facing you, his right is really when you're looking at him on your left. So you have to put everything in perspective as to the person that you're looking at, okay? And his, even though it's on your left when you're looking at him, it, his right is really on that side. So that's why when we look at this, um, this is termed the right atrium and right ventricle. So what we have here, let's talk about the, um, what the chambers are. We have um, a right atrium and a left atrium. The atria are what the upper chambers are called. And you'll notice again the right one right there, even though it's when I look at it on my left, that is indeed the right one. Because if a person was facing me, that would be his right. And then we have the left atrium over here. And then down here we have the right ventricle and the left ventricle. And you'll notice that the wall here is quite a bit more muscular than the um, at atrium up here. So um, when blood comes back to the heart, you'll notice that we see um, it looks like something here, a tube and a tube here. Usually the blue color represents um, blood that is deoxygenated or does not carry oxygen. And so um, from below, from the, from the bottom, bottom part of the body, um, blood is returned to the heart through this um, vessel right here, which is a vein, and it's called the inferior vena cava. Inferior usually means on the bottom. Now this one up here, very much the same, it's a vein, but it's carrying blood back to the heart from the upper part of the body. And so we call this the superior vena cava. So we have the inferior vena cava and the superior vena cava. Both of those um, large veins are actually bringing blood back to that right atrium. Now the blood will be going down into the vent right ventricle here. Now, after it reaches the right ventricle, it's going to be going out here. You can kind of follow through. You know, it comes down in here, and then the muscle contracts and pushes the blood right up here. This is the one thing that's different about the heart. Usually, in fact, in the body, all um, vessels or all tubes that actually leave the heart are called arteries, and all, all um, vessels that bring blood back to the heart are called veins. Arteries always carry oxygenated blood. Veins always carry deoxygenated blood, except for right here. Remember, all the blood came from the body back to the heart, but look at here. It, as it shoots out here, we're going to actually leave the heart, which makes this an artery, but we're, we still have the deoxygenated blood in there. So this is the one instance where we have an artery that's carrying deoxygenated blood. So where it's going to go, you can see it branches out here, it's actually going to go to each of the lungs and it's going to pick up oxygen. And so this is called the, uh, the pulmonary artery. So it takes blood out here to the lungs and in the lungs is where the blood picks up all the oxygen. So now the blood is now nice and oxygenated, but how are we going to get it out to the body? Well, it's got to come back to the heart and it's going to come back to the heart through a vein. This is the pulmonary vein, but again, look at the difference here. Veins are usually deoxygenated. They're always deoxygenated, carrying, carrying no oxygen. That's why the blood is coming back to the heart. But this one, because it is coming from the uh, lungs and it is coming back to the heart, we consider it a vein, but it has oxygenated blood in it. So that's one thing that's kind of different about an artery and a vein here with the heart. These two, the pulmonary artery and the pulmonary vein, they do the opposite of what you would be thinking when you think of the rest of the body's arteries and veins. So anyway, the blood came here, down here, it went out here to the lungs, filled up the blood, collected all the oxygen, came back to the heart, and now it ends up in the left atrium. From there, it goes down into the left ventricle. Now look how much even, if you compare the two ventricles, look how much um, thicker this is. This, this chamber really needs to put out a big contraction to be able to push all that blood out to the body. So it contracts and it comes right up here and goes out the aorta. So it looks like it, you know, it's kind of, you have to kind of picture in your mind, it goes underneath this and then comes out here. So that is the aorta. 
and you'll notice that it's red, so it's representing good oxygenated blood that's now going to be taken to all the parts of the body. So as far as, just to kind of go over again, what there are the parts that you need to know on here, we have the four-chambered heart, the, two, the right atrium at the top and the left atrium at the top, the right ventricle in the bottom and the left ventricle at the bottom. We have the inferior vena cava bringing blood back to the heart. Remember, it's deoxygenated. It's coming from the body, and it needs to get back to the heart, sent to the lungs so it can pick up more oxygen. So this blood coming back here from the lower half of the body is coming from the inferior vena cava. The blood from the top part of the body is coming in through the superior vena cava, and all the blood first in the heart comes right here to the right atrium. Then it goes down to the right ventricle. Now it's going to be sent away from the heart. So this is really an artery, but this is the one exception. The blood in here is deoxygenated. We're going to the lungs so that we can pick up oxygen. Once it picks it up, we come back over here and we come back into what? A vein. But look at here. This vein has oxygenated blood. So it's something different. So it comes in here, it goes into the left atrium, down into that real thick walled left ventricle, which is gonna contract greatly and push all that blood out the aorta, right here, that very thick walled artery, to, which is then gonna branch into all parts of the body. So if you have any other um, questions about this, just let me know, we can certainly look at it one-to-one, -one, but I hope that helps a bit. Um, I'd like to have you give me a call so that I can give you credit for watching this, and I will, it's not a quiz, I just want to speak with you, I'll ask you a couple questions to make sure that you understand it, and then you can get the full credit for this particular project. So thanks for watching, and I'll look forward to hearing from you on the phone. Bye.